Alrighty, so this is going to be a reading for my Taurus. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is going to be a look at the messages from your spirit guides, what they have to say to you. Um, so we're going to get straight into it. If you would like to see more of my readings, make sure you subscribe and you hit that notification bell. Also, if you would like a personal reading with me, my website information will be listed in the description box. All right, Taurus messages from their spirit guides. Taurus for February 1st to the 15th. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about the cards now that we have them laid out. So we have trust, acceptance, pleasure. We have the Ace of Pentacles, the World card, the Eight of Wands, the Hangman. We also have, what does this card say? Um, what does this card say? It says, I'm unapologetic about what I desire and trust that what I focus on will grow. I resonate that I, wait, no, hold on not resonate. I realize or I recognize that I have chosen fear and I choose again to choose love. And in the last card that we have here, it says my happiness is a direct reflection of my level of faith in the universe. So, and then we also have this card, which I want to go over now. So this one says, dearest you, all your prayers are heard and mirrored back to you from the unseen realms. Be grateful Praise things before they manifest and always ask for the highest good. When you plead and beg, that will bring you only more reasons to plead and beg. Instead, offer your prayers as sacred gifts as a testament to your faith in, in a higher power. Open up and let spirit move through you and comfort you. Add meditation as a way to become empty so you will be ready to be filled with inspired epiphanies, peace, and understanding and joy. In this moment, your prayers have been answered for the highest good of both you and of all life. Sometimes what you pray for is not supposed to happen for you and your prayers will be answered in surprising ways. At this moment, we're listening intently to your prayers and want you to know that your highest good is our priority. And this is all as well. So basically with this postcard, this is letting you know that Prayers don't per se change your situation, but it is a way for you to affirm and to also bring things closer to you. When it comes to things being in alignment with you, they will come your, your way or things will start to move in your direction automatically when it's in alignment with your path overall. And also understand that your prayers are going to be answered if it's in the highest good of you um, or of the circumstance that you're in. Spirit is not just going to answer certain prayers that we have just because we want certain things to go our way. OK. Now, looking further into this, um, I have the Ace of Pentacles, the World card, the Eight of Wands and then the Hangman here with this energy. This is spirit wanting you guys to have a little bit more of a practical feel in terms of your like personal relationships. And for some of you, if you're like a business owner, you may be needing to be more practical in order for your business to take off. So say for instance, you run like an online business, but you may not have all the, the products that you need for your business, or you don't have enough um, financial backing to do certain things. This is making sure that you're getting practical in terms of what you need so that you guys can have the security that you're looking for financially and in your relationship. Some of you guys need to be careful of entertaining people who 
are seemingly ready for a relationship, but don't quite all the way offer that, um, or like are kind of half-assing you as well. So this is being careful of entertaining connections that are, that are like this. Um, a lot of you also, your spirit wants you to, to know that you guys are stepping into new energy with the world card and the ace of pentacles right next to each other. Um, but with this new cycle, this is you guys needing to learn your lesson from the previous cycle of energy that you may have been in, especially if you were in some stressful situations. Um, and also allowing yourself to move forward beyond that. Also, spirit wants to bring closer attention to your thinking process with the hangman. This is making sure that you're not creating your own stagnant situation by allowing yourself to be stuck on certain things that may not be moving or having any sort of like promising results. Okay. Look, this person's like toupee is falling off and stuff. So some of you guys also need to make sure you're taking care of your mental health as well. Now, hmm, during this time frame, you guys are going to have to trust in the universe. Like I said, when it comes to things shifting for certain things to work out for you. Also, this is about your level of trust. Some of you guys... Your trust issues are causing a lot of problems in terms of you accepting new people into your life or even meeting new people because your trust issues may be um, creating like this invisible bubble that you're putting around yourself, trying to protect yourself in a sense. Um, this is also making sure that you understand that if you are a little bit different, if you have different dating preferences, whether that's like you being a part of the LGBTQ community, understand that the only acceptance that also matters really and truly is your own acceptance of self. If you don't accept yourself for who you are, then it really doesn't matter how other people perceive you because your perception of self may be off. So this is making sure you understand that. And through you accepting self is how other people will be able to accept you as well. Also, some of you just need to have more fun. Um, you may be extremely uptight, like having to work on things and take care of certain things that you may have not really allowed yourself to kick back and have fun. Like I said, um, this is also the energy of you guys. If not you having an issue of having fun, some of you guys, you may be having a little bit too much fun and you may be needing to kind of crack down to be more serious in terms of... Um, the way that you're spending your time. Now, beyond that, I kind of want to discuss these cards. This card says, um, I'm un unapologetic about what I desire and trust that what I focus on will grow. And again, this is making sure that you understand that what you want, your desires, your goals are your desires and your goals. It really doesn't matter what other people think. Um, if you want to be a tarot reader, if you want to whatever, do that. But understand, whatever you choose to focus on in the process of doing whatever you're doing will grow. So if you're focusing on negativity, that will grow. And if you're focusing on abundance, that will grow as well. It's what you feed your energy into that will grow. Um, we also have, I recognize that I have chosen fear and that, and I chose, again, I chose love, excuse me. Um, so this is, again, you guys stepping into this energy of allowing fear to persuade you in terms of your decision making. And this is you having to choose that vibration of love and not fear to dictate your life. Because if you let fear run your life, like I always say, it's going to literally run you into a space of depression because you're not living life. You're just trying to always protect yourself. Instead of experiencing life. And the last part we have is my happiness is a di direct reflection of my level of faith in the universe. And this is very true. The happier you are 
is your ability to have faith in the universe because regardless of the circumstances that you're in, you'll have faith that the universe will be able to take you out of bad circumstances or to take you out of your suffering. Or if you have faith in the universe, what would seemingly be bad would honestly be perceived to you differently because you understand that it's just things shifting whenever there is a level of conflict. So this is what I see. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. If you did, definitely make sure you thumbs up this video and subscribe. Check out the description if you would like a personal and I will see my Taurus in the next one. Bye.